Video mode up. Out in hot mode up. Hello, is everybody ready? Hello, teacher. How are you, Lisa? I am fine. How was your weekend? A little bad because oh. I was sick. Oh, sorry to hear that. I have a flu. <laughs> Oh, ah, yes. fever, headache. I was so bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> and today you feel better? Yes. I feel okay. A little bit better. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's a few days to get better. It's a little difficult. Yeah. Oh. Are you taking medicine? Yes. Uh, oh. I am. I am taking a lot of. I don't know how to say pastilla. A pills. lot of medicine. A lot of Sorry? pills. Pills. A lot of pills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four. I. I'm surprised. Only. You are the only person in the, in the group today. Maybe because it's early. Yes, it's a little early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a few moments, the other people join. Yeah. Maybe. Do, do you have a Do you have a dog, Lisette? Three dogs. Three dogs. That's why I. I always hear. <laughs> yeah, I have three dogs. Are they big dogs or small dogs? No, big dogs are Rottweiler. Okay, they're pretty big. Two, mm -hmm. yes, two boy and one girl. Okay, and the three are Rottweilers. Yes. Okay. Hey, there are more people coming. So we have Gerard, Gerardo and Norma. That's good. Maybe it's for exactly for being for being Monday. Yes. Always Monday there are a lot of traffic. Ah yes, it's true. In, in everywhere, in the morning, 
it in at night when we finish always yes. a, a lot of traffic it's monday and friday yes it's typical it's typical okay hey now we're starting to get more people that's good okay well i'm going to begin a little bit of the explanation for today's class if you want in the link that i sent the second link it says slideshare is www.slideshare.net if you click on that you will begin to understand today's class and today's class is about the present perfect continuous okay but in order to understand the present perfect continuous we want to make sure we understand what is the present perfect does anybody know what is the present perfect Yes. Yes. Go go ahead, Anna. Tell us what is the present perfect. Mm, is the activities um than real estate um no in this moment, but usually. Uh, every day for example okay okay anybody else the idea is what is the present perfect anybody else have another idea present perfect teacher is uh, when i use a, a start situation in the past and continue in the present okay all right good that's one of them <laughs> hey Today, your volume is very good, Anna. I hear you very clear. <laughs> Me too, teacher. <laughs> yes, yes, it's very good today. <laughs> okay. Well, if you click on the second link, the second link that I sent you, you can see the idea of the present perfect. It has the, we have the present, the present perfect is exactly what Anna explained. We start in the past and we can, we normally finished. Now, we don't know when it finished. This is the difference between the present perfect and present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. In the continuous, continue for today. In the perfect, only the action happened. Okay. Does everybody see that the present perfect chart? I, let me see if I can share just in case, but yes yes you can see it yes Lisa, Norma. okay I... gerardo it's okay for you uh no no okay in the, in the in the in the chat is in the i i send it again the document that we want oh, okay 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 yeah i see okay perfect in this one it helps us understand what is the present perfect because we are going to use today the present perfect continuous but first the perfect is similar is always with have or has and always we need to make sure that have and has is obligation because it this indicate the perfect it tells us that the action happened in the past and with the continuous it tells us the action continued to happen okay so how does it work well it's pretty easy the idea is when we talk about ah uh, when you do something for example i i have eaten pupusas yeah everything it happened in the past but if you continue to do today is i have been eating pupusas okay okay so what is the big difference ing the ing is for the activity continue and continue okay if the if no ing is the activity doesn't continue okay okay so that's 
So when we don't have the ing, it means that the action finished in the past. But when we have the when we have the continuous, it means that yes, it has. So so. Okay. Yes. We're gonna try a few exercises to see if you can get the idea, okay? okay. So here, <clears throat> let me send, how many people do we have? We have six, okay, here. Here is the exercise we're gonna try with our partners, okay? And this, and this one, we're going to have little groups and we're gonna try to answer. The idea is with ING, continue. Okay. Okay. Everybody ready to work with your partner? Yes. Okay. Being writing. Problem, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Anne. Can you hear me, Anna? Yes. Yes, Mary. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Okay. So the first one is you and your partner. Do you want to read the exercise number one through twenty, and you want to make a decision? What for you is correct? Okay. If is present perfect, is the past participle. If it's present perfect continuous, is with ing. What is the difference? The continuous means that continue is not finished. The perfect means finished. Okay? So the okay. simple, like I ate pupusas, is finished. If you say I am eating pupusas, ah, is not finished. Okay. Okay? So with your partners, you're going to try and answer those and then we check to see if you understand. Okay. Okay. She has letter all morning. So we have to decide if it's writing or being writing. Correct. You okay. have to discuss which one it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's B. She has been writing letters all morning. What do you think, Anna? Well, I, uh, excuse me, but I, I can see. Always. Yeah. Pressing continues too, because some answers perfect. Pressing Letter B. Letter B. I've been having this watch since I was at school. Mm -hmm. yeah. and the number four. Number four. You, you do the number four. Uh, letter A. We, we've had. Yes, I was fine. Yes, I see. Perfect. Perfect. Simple. We have been uh, at a good time. You can click on the answer uh, and see which is the correct answer. Adriana, in this moment, we are working in the present perfect continuous. In the chat, you can find the link for this exercise is the ELT base. Okay, in in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. But if you see if you want, I sent again, that way you don't get confused. Yeah. Is this one. Okay. 
había saltado en el parque because I was I I been spending a lot of time with my nephew. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um I I have go to the therapy uh, for my back in in the hospital at least um, mm -hmm. no I have going tengo que decir verdad porque si he estado mm -hmm. yes, I have going I have going sí. In therapy, therapy for my back in the hospital. Okay. Y ya no, lo que no sé es, eh, teacher, para decir que ya no se complementa como a, hasta este momento, sino que solo se dice, he estado en terapia, por ejemplo. I have been. I have been. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, no es de, de ir, ¿verdad? Sino okay. que es de estar. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. We're going to go back and I, we have more people and I explain one more time. Ok. 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 Okay, I see that for some people it's still a little confusing. So let me explain again the idea of the present perfect continuous. How we use and why is different than the present perfect. Okay, the present perfect continuous is because we do, we start the action in the past, but we continue to this moment. Okay. The present perfect is only we did the action in the past. We don't know when the action happened. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, okay, just want to make sure. Okay, so here, let me see if this makes a little bit better. I'm going to send you a, a link with the picture so that you can see better the time. Okay. 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 In this one, you can see with a timeline. That means you can see like with a picture, the difference with the past simple, the present perfect, the present perfect, uh, the different ideas. So what do we have? The idea is that when we talk about the present perfect is the action start in the past, okay? And we don't know when in the past it happened. We have no idea. When we say the present perfect continuous, start in the past, but to this moment continue. So as an example for you, you, like Anna, Anna, start to practice English in the past. And Anna continue to practice English today. So for Anna, the correct is, I have been studying English. Is not correct, I have studied English. If Anna says, I have studied English, is finish in the past. If Anna says, I have been studying English, is start in the past, but continue to the, today. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and okay. You can see the picture 
in the in the picture you have the last picture it gives you the example that you start in the past but continue 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 and it's still continuing today okay this is many okay. times the idea i i have a question yes in in the quiz in yes. number three they say i this watch since i was at school i think that it was i've been having this watch but it's wrong and i don't have clear why ah okay perfect let me explain why that the reason is is because only one time you can be the owner of the property it's not possible to continue buying and buying and buying the watch you have the watch one time oh, okay okay let me give you the example of my cell phone okay if i break the cell phone how many times do i break one. only one time one. it's not possible it's not possible to continue breaking and breaking and breaking the phone that's why it's only possible the past perfect not the past perfect but, continues okay but uh, so yes it's no matter no matter if you have the the the, the same cell phone now because you that's what's my confused you, i i have the the cell phone now and i have the cell phone then that that was my my right i, I understand your confusion but the idea is whenever you have the perfect continuous the action is you still can continue doing but you can you only have uh, you like buy let's say uh, you buy shoes you continue okay. to have the shoes you the shoes are yours but you can only buy one time so it's not okay. correct i have been i have been buying the shoes it's only buying. correct i have i have bought the shoes okay okay the reason is is because the action only only one time did you okay yes yes anna present perfect uh, i structure is a uh, subject uh, be was or were is that correct? The present perfect is subject, have subject? or have or has. Ah, okay. And past participle. Ah, yes. Okay, so I put in the Thanks. subject. Mm -hmm. Then we have past participle. Yes. Then we use have okay. or has. And then the past participle. Yes. Okay. The present perfect continuous is the subject, have or has, and the verb with ing. Bear and ing plus ing. Correct. Correct. So, mm -hmm. as an example, for here, so that we don't get confused, I put perfect, present perfect. This is the example. I have worked all day. That means that I worked today, but I finished working. I finished working. But if we use perfect, uh, perfect continuous is is this, and the meaning is that today mm. I. I continue to work in this moment. Mm -hmm. So, Anna, did you work today? Yes, did you? Of course. Yes. Okay. Norma, did you work today? Yes, teacher. Yes. Selena, did you work today? I work today. Okay. So, as you can see, for all of you is the first example. I have worked all day, but for me, I continue to work. 
I not finish. I've not finished my day. So is I have been working. You have been. Just because I start. You have, you have been working. Correct. Correct. You have been working. Is correct. Because I begin in the past, but still continue to this moment. I. I has worked. That means that you finished to work today. in the past. I has worked mm -hmm. today. Correct. Now, no is necessary at times. It's not necessary okay. for today or yesterday, but we want. The idea normally is because we don't know when the activity happened. We don't know when the person uh, did the action. I, I, as an example, I have eaten sushi. I don't know. I don't remember when. Maybe last week, maybe one year, <laughs> maybe five years. The important is that the action, I have eaten sushi. But if I say I have been eating sushi is, ah, I start and I continue in this moment, maybe for dinner is, is what I eat. Is, is a little bit better? Yes. Okay. Okay. What I want us to do, Gerardo, you have a question? Anybody have a question? No, not sure. clear. Okay. Now we're going to go back into different groups and we're going to try to see if we understand the difference between the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous. Okay. Yes? Everybody's ready? Yes. Very good. Okay. So is the same idea. We're going to use the, the same link for the, the one that we were working in order to answer. Does everybody have the link? Yes. If not, I send the link. Yes? Okay. Okay, then let's try one more time. The last link. Oh. I'm sorry, what? The last link, teacher. I send it. I, no problem. I, in this moment, I send the link again. That way, we don't have confusion. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Is. Here. Is this link. This is the correct link to practice with your partner. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. i waiting for your partner. Okay. Let's see. Uh, your partner was Anna Edith, but I don't know what happened. Maybe have she's having problems with the connection. Yes. Okay. I, is the same the, the same yes. link? It's the same link, yes. But because the people were having problems, we, we stop and I explain again, but now I think you understand better to, uh -huh. to complete the exercise. Oh, okay. 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 But Anna doesn't connect. Okay. Let me. Adriana, I'm going to move you to another group then, because if not, you never practice waiting for, for Anna. Okay? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I move you to another group because she never joined. B, B. And the second, I have a more confused. I think the number eight. Um, she has written. Written. Written six letter. This morning. Yes, I think it's air. It's crying. I was correct. That's good. I'm. That's good. It's good. You speak in English. You practice. Do you understand the difference? Do you have any questions? And the the third question I have. I have. Uh, uh, say. What do you think about the number three? Uh, this machine, I wasn't. I think it was a uh, uh, I don't know. It's a little confused. Okay, the the answer is A. a. The, yes, the the reason the is A is because A is, you can only buy one time. You, you buy one time and then it's yours. Always is yours. That's why it's, I've had this watch. No, I've been having. Okay. Okay. The idea, your idea is correct because in, in, in Spanish we think we have the watch and we continue to have the watch. But in English, is for the verb. The verb is, I've had is only one time you have and not continue to have. Oh, okay, now I understand better. Is Jose, and, and you can think of, and Gerardo, you can think of like specific verbs, for example, love or hate. Love. Yes, do you, uh, you love your mother, uh -huh. right? But when you yeah. love your you love your mother and you continue all automatic but or you hate somebody so it's not correct you say i have been loving no is i love you start and that's it you hate you start and that's it it's like the example with the phone i break and is not possible is not possible continue breaking so some verbs only have one choice Okay. 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 All right. You guys continue going. Good job. Keep going. Thank you. Cool. Four. Number four. Been going away for the week. They've gone away for the week. Okay. Mary and Norma, do you have any questions? Is you are understanding the present perfect continuous? Yes. Yes. The action is in the past and continues in the present. Yes. The continuous is start in the past and continue to the present. And the perfect normally is start in the past and finished in the past. But not continue. Okay. Okay. Keep this going. is perfect and, and, and Present perfect and present continuous. Cor is present oh, perfect pre and present, present continuous. And present perfect. No, no, no. Present perfect and present perfect continuous. Okay, okay. 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 No. A thousand complete times. Uh, it's not complete, complete, but I have mm -hmm. told you. Oh, told. 
Okay. I have told you a thousand times. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. the next. Uh, I have. I have seven. been holding. Is B or A? It goes five times this morning. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eight. The next. And um, what has she done to her hair? Yeah, it it looks. Uh, is A. Yes. 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 Next, next. <laughs> she has five different countries at first time in her life. She believe she's she's believing. Did it be? Oh I got out the way. She's she's believing. For me, letter A. A. Yes. 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 Next. Wait for that week. They have been going. Been A. Been A. Been going. No. Completion. Ah. Okay, is everybody okay? Yes. Yes, we understand a little bit better the, the present perfect, present perfect continuous. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Please re <laughs> remember, Sorry. remember to watch the video on the present perfect continuous. The, pres the video is there to help you so that that way you can see and look at some examples, okay? This is the idea for the, idea for the present perfect continuous, the video in the 2.7, 2.8, I think. Nope. No. I didn't watch the video yet. No but problem. I, mm -hmm. but you understand or not so much? I, I already understand. Okay, good. The video is there for anyone who still has a little confusion or maybe you're not clear or today you are clear, but tomorrow you say, I, I forgot, I don't remember. I, is, then you watch the video okay. again to help you. That's the idea for the idea for the videos is always there to give us more support before we do the the exercises because the idea is after after you watch the video then you do the knowledge check okay mm -hmm. anybody else have any questions or anything so far so good so far so good Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, I'm going to share with you uh, the next topic for our chat. Here is the conversation for our chat.
So does it, did everybody see the link for the discussion? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So we can see the idea is in these minutes, we want to practice our speaking with our partners. We're going to make small groups again, but we want to first make sure we understand the questions. I'm going to read the questions. If you don't understand, please ask what is the question, okay? And I will explain. Okay. Number one, what springs to mind when you hear the word adventure? Number two, do you like adventure? Number three, in what way is learning English an adventure for you? Number four, who would you like to have a big adventure with? Number five, do you think your idea of adventure is the same as your parents' idea and uh, your grandparents' ideas? Number six, does there have to be an element of danger in an adventure? Number seven, do you think animals like adventures? Number eight, what adventures would you like to go on in the future? Number nine, do you ever have online adventures? And 10, do you like adventure movies? There are more questions in part B, but today we are only going to do part A. Do you understand all of the questions? Yes. I, I please repeat which which number? Number one. What springs? Ah, what springs? The the meaning of springs is what comes to your mind. What do you think of when you hear the word adventure? This is the idea of springs. Are the other are the other words are the other questions okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Then we have the opportunity to speak with our partners. Remember, we want to practice our speaking, so we want to talk about what we have or different things. Yes. Okay. Okay. If there are no questions, then I'm going to make the rooms and we try with our partners. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, I see we, we lost some people, but it's okay. We try again. Sorry. To the word adventure. Okay, repeat please. Norma or uh, yes, no more. number no. one. What a spin a spin you mind when you hear the word adventure. Okay, when when I think about adventure, I think in mountain. I think it's an adventure. Go to some place you 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 didn't you don't know, and go to know for the first time. I I don't know, or or do something that you don't usually do like go camping and 
go hiking, walking, that's biking. I don't know. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Do you like adventures? Well, yes, I like adventure because it's when you go, uh, go out the stress and allow your job, you can do exactly. a physical activities as well. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah, I like I like adventures too. What adventure would you like? I like go hiking. Really? Yes, I I I really I like walk and and hike the mountains, the volcanoes. I hope uh, uh, fine. I I hope I will hope uh, fine uh, and um, for angel for practice my English. A foreign, a foreign. A foreign girl, yes. Uh, for example, American men. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good adventure. <laughs> Excellent adventure, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, Pooh. Yes. In my well, case, it's an adventure because it's a, a new experience with a new language. Uh, yeah. All different. Because this is a, an adventure. <laughs> Number four. Who would you like to have a big adventure with? I I would like to have a, a big adventure with my boyfriend. I want to wow, wow. go a uh, mountain and I spend mm -hmm. a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe and the other one. Yeah, another one. Do you think your idea of time between us and the world have changed and so many things have changed like now the internet the the world is making a little a smaller maybe for my parents and my grandparents where an adventure go to the Santa Ana no Santa Ana visit Santa Ana but for me, that's an adventure, but in not the in the same scale. Is 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 like small one, and for them maybe it it was a a big trip, okay. and for me it's like a trip, small trip that you do in a weekend. It's like a, something normal, <laughs> no, uh -huh. uh, amazing. Uh -huh. Or go to the Guatemala and Panama. Maybe that's well, that's an adventure for for them. Or maybe having a family and have kids. That was an adventure for for him, for them. Yes. I think it's it, it's it's not the same. At least in in the size of the adventure, it's not the same. Yes, I share your opinion because it depends on your point of view. Something is could be a stunning for you, but for the other one, it could be boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, for example, the as as you said that the, the world is, has changed, and my mm -hmm. adventure or my the things that I like to do now are, are different. That my parents did when they were young. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Nina, what do you think? Oh, there, there's someone I else. Think, I think my parents uh, have, have a different idea of adventure because uh, 
it's similar, like Mary said, that the world is changed very fast. And for, for they, uh, the knowledge is very limited. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. this, this is great. I'm glad. The important is that everyone express their opinion and that you, you are practicing the English to become more fluent. That's very good. Very good. Thanks. Continue continue with the other questions. Okay. Okay. Number six. Uh, some animals in the selva, I think, yes, but they are not alone. Okay. Uh, I want to write uh, an elephant. <laughs> ah, that's a that's a big adventure, huh? It's not normal. Not normal yes. in Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> yes, when I when I go to the Africa. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Good. Number, number eight. Yes. What adventure would you like to go in the future? Ahoy, I say. <laughs> <laughs> and and okay. I I like a visit to the Egyptian pyramid. Yes. Pyramids. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you? Okay. I would like. Fine, yes. Yeah. The, um, the movie, the, the mommy. Ah, the mom? yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The mommy's adventure. Yes. Okay, I think everybody had a, a great opportunity to practice speaking. I heard many of you speaking. That's, that's very good. It's very good that you're practicing. And of course, we always forget a few words, some words we don't know in English, and we have to try to continue. And maybe sometimes our partner helps us, and sometimes hey, we, we create the word until we make it up. But this is the idea, the idea to, to practice. Now, why are we talking about adventure and how it helps with today's class? The reason it helps is because normally you think about things in the past. In the past, we normally have the simple past. I ate pupusas, I went to the movies, I saw TV. This is the simple past. The present perfect is I have gone to the movies, I have seen the TV. I have eaten pupusas. This is because it happened in the past, but we don't know when. And then the present perfect continues. Happen in the past, but continue to this moment. That is the important, is in this moment we continue. Now, in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to put more exercises tomorrow if you need to practice more specifically the present perfect continuous. But it's important that everybody is working in the platform. Already in the platform, we are in 2.8. So tomorrow, 2.9. So really, we are going to be almost, uh, tomorrow we're going to start the lesson three. So it's important that you practice in the platform. Before we finish tonight, are there any questions? No. Oh. No. no, I don't have a question. 
No, you sure? Oh, yes. Okay. Then, David, let me ask you, what is the difference for present perfect and present perfect continuous? The uh, present perfect continuous, the action begin in the past and continue in this moment. For example, uh, for me, uh, I have been working in this moment and when I yes, I am I I am studying English and the present perfect uh, present perfect is the action beginning in the past but but I don't know if the action no. finish in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Good, David. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe Jose. Jose Ramos, can you help David? Can you give example of the present perfect? Uh, um, for example, continue. I have been working in uh, this company for the last 12 years. Uh, for another one, uh, the, the I have cleaned the house. It's uh, another example. Correct, Jose. Very good. I this example is important because when you go home or when you go to the office, it's not important who does the action. Only important the house is clean, or the office is clean. This is uh, the office has been clean, or the house has been cleaned. But if you go and they continue and you go to work and it's not finished, this is, ah, uh, the office has been uh, clean, well, not clean, uh, or the house has been uh, working or playing or eating. The, the important is the big difference is in one action, the activity finished. And the continuous, the present perfect continuous is not finished. Tonight, we are going to finish with this idea, but remember in the platform, you have more work, you have the videos, and tomorrow in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, I'm going to put exercises extra. It's not obligation. It's only if you want to practice more. Okay? Okay. Okay, then. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Good night. Good night, everyone.